Well, howdy. Welcome here once again to the Double M Farm. It's been a while since I've done any videos because there really hasn't been anything much going on here on the homestead. Oh my God, somebody just took a shot at me, sounds like. Uh, between the weather and me being sick off and on, just haven't been doing a lot. And I'm not going to make a video of just nothing just to make a video so I don't usually make videos unless I got something to talk about whether you whether it's interesting or not that's up to you to decide but there's been a lot of talk and discussion about the clevis pins on the harbor freight trencher which ones go where how many are there and all kind of stuff um and the clevis pins are the ones that have the flat bb type grease fitting those are the clevis pins the other pins like the big one there and there's one exactly like it on the other end of the boom there are not the greasable type you have to use the zerk fitting to grease it and of course the main pivot pin has to use the zerk fittings but these that we call the clevis pins there there's a lot of discussion and seems to be a lot of confusion about these things so I have sat down this morning. We got two, oh, about two and a half inches of rain last night, so it was too wet to do anything else. So I've been sitting in the shop going through the manual and trying to break this thing down. And I hope I don't get too confusing with this. So I'm going to try to see if maybe if this helps anybody out. But when you're looking, this is the manual that comes with the Harbor Freight Trencher. You can also look at it on the website and there is a better picture and I don't have it with me because I don't have my laptop with me to pull it up but um, there's a better picture um, on the website that's not in the manual but there are only three types of clevis pins on the Harbor Freight Trencher there's clevis pin number 29 which is clevis pin number one there's eight of those on the trencher Clevis pin number two, it's 35 on the parts list. There are two of those. And then clevis pin number three, it's 91 on the part list. There's only one of those. And we'll go through them. I'll show you where they are and what the difference is. The other ones highlighted is the main pivot pin, and then which is only one of, and then the pin on each end of the boom, which there is obviously two of. We're not discussing those. They're pretty obvious. You can't, you can't confuse those. Well, maybe you can, but anyhow. <laughs> on this expanded view, it's very difficult to pick things out. Uh, it took me a while, but I went through and highlighted them and figured it all out and I'm not going to try to go through that because like I say it's very hard to look at so I went over to this page in the manual and here they are and number 29 the one that says there's eight of them well there's one two three four five six seven eight this is the hydraulic cylinder that operates the back and forth swing of the boom okay this pin is different from this pin pin number 29 one two three four and then four here that makes a total of eight of the number 29 pin okay then the uh, number 35 pin it said there was only two of them that's these right here and then the number 91 pin, it said there's only one of them. That's the one right here. Now let's look at them on the machine. The number 29 pin is here, clevis pin. It's right here on this end of this hydraulic cylinder. And you get over here, that's the number 91 pin. You get over here. Somebody trying to call me on the phone. Sorry about that. I'm recording this on my phone. That's the number 91. And you get over here, you get into the 29, the two 31s, and then everything else is 29. Four there, two there, here, and there. Now the reason behind it. 
these are the only two 31 pins. And the only difference is the length. I've come up with a simple plan if anyone is having a hard time and not knowing which pins to order. To be on the safe side, I've got them here side by side. There they are. Diameter is the same on all three pins. I only have two of them out here, but the diameter is the same. The only difference is the length, as you can see. Number 29 is the longest pin. Number 31 is a middle size. And then number 91, which is this pin right here, is the shortest. The reason being, if I can get down here, it hangs out there. If you use number 29, you can see how far it's going to hang down. Would that be a bad thing? No. You could get by with that. Or, if you can't get, and what I'm getting at is if you call Harbor Freight to order a number 91 pin and they're out of them, you can order the 31 pin and it's going to hang down, but it's still above the axle. The chances of it hitting anything are slim. You can even put washers on it to do that. You could space, put spacers, washers for spacers to shorten it if you wanted to so it wouldn't hang down so far. But the thing is, technically, you could order nothing but the 29 pins and use them everywhere. Because again, the only difference is the length. Here they're going to stick out further. Big deal. What difference is that going to make? Yeah. Maybe it'll hit that line? I doubt it. Again, use some spacers, some washers for spacers if you want to adjust it. But you can use the number 29 pin that's listed as eight of them on the machine for every single pin yeah. on the machine. So uh, just a, you know, a heads up for anyone who's having a hard time figuring out which pins to get. Diameter is the same. Only difference is length. This is one I replaced because it got so gunked up. That's the hole that the grease comes out of when you, supposedly, when you grease it there. It's supposed to come out that hole. And it's so impacted with dirt and hardened grease that it won't come out. You can see what kind of shape it's in. I can still use it because I can pull the pin out, grease it good by hand, and put it back in instead of using the fitting. So it's still usable. It's just not as easy. So I replaced it. I'm just keeping it for a spare. Uh... I don't know that I'll ever order any more of the 31 pins, the uh, number, not 31, 35, the number, I believe I've been calling this 31, it's 35 on the parts list. Don't know that I'll ever order any more of these because for that minor difference in length, it's only usable in two places, three if you count here, and then it's not usable where the 20, number 29 pin goes because it's too short. So, uh, I believe next time I order pins, I'll just order a bunch of the number 29s on the parts list. And as far as ordering them, you go on the Harbor Freight website. You go to the, you pull up the trencher on the website. And over on the right side of the page for the trencher, you'll see a little listing that you can click on that will uh, bring up parts. And it changes because they list parts that are available. And if they run out of them or don't have them available, they take them off the list. Now, you can. I have gone on there, and it was listed, and I'd call, and they had just sold out and just hadn't had time to take it off the list yet. So that can happen. But um, the number 29 pin on the parts list, if you're willing to use some spacers to keep it from sticking out too far or hanging down too low, will take care of everything you need as far as those pins go on the Harbor Freight Trencher. So, don't know if that was thoroughly confusing um, or helpful, but uh, hopefully it helped somebody along the way. And uh, we'll uh, see. So, leave a comment below if, there's a, if you have a question or call me an idiot if I thoroughly confused you. But <laughs> either way, I had one guy complain on one of my videos because uh, I said something political and he didn't like it.
oh well, I'm not going to apologize for who I am. So <laughs> I appreciate you visiting us here on the Double M Farm, and I'll talk to you again real soon.